Good morning, um, this is Brian from uh, Excel Dashboard Widgets and this morning I'm going to show you um, just how to copy one of the widgets into a new uh, spreadsheet and how to configure it. Um, so let's start, away, um, let's start straight away with a new uh, spreadsheet, so a blank workbook. Um, there it is. Uh, if you look on the unlocked version of the uh, the dashboard widgets spreadsheet, you'll see there's a tab on the bottom called "How to Design an Excel-Based Dashboard Using the Using the Using the Spreadsheet." Um, so it explains a little bit of the a little of the basics, um, how to sketch out the sort of dashboard that you're looking for. Um, so we're just going to go to step five now. Uh, now it's time to create your dashboard in Excel. Um, open up a new um, uh, spreadsheet and set up three tabs. Um, the first tab you're going to call My Dashboard, the second one My Configuration Page, and the third one My Calculations Page. What we try to do is basically separate the graphics, um, which are on the Dashboard page, um, from the Calculations, which are on the Calculations page, from the Configuration, um, which is basically the numbers that fill up the dashboard, uh, the, 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 the title text um, and the different values. Um, so let's do that right now. Let's just set up, uh, let's call this um, my dashboard. Let's call this tab um, my configuration page. And the last one, let's call this my Calculations page. Um, okay, let's go back to the back to the first tab called My Dashboard. Um, now, obviously, this is just an example copying one of the um, one of the widgets across. Um, but obviously, as you build up your dashboard with your different uh, different performance metrics, you'd use the same process for the for the other widgets. So this is the widget we're going to copy, the very first one called the Linear Dial um, widget. Uh, so basically it's very simple, we just select um, the object by clicking on it um, on the side. I'm going to use Control c for copy. And I come into my new work, workbook. I'm going to select cell B2 and then I'm just going to hit Paste, which is Control v um, so there's our, there's our first widget um, in our dashboard. Now the values in this widget, the title, the scale, um, the needle, and, and, the, and the actual value are still linked to the old workbook. Um, so if we update the values in the old um, workbook, it'll update them here. Um, so what I want to do is set these up so they're linked to, the, um, to this new workbook we've just created. For example, if I click just quickly on the um, on the needle, you'll see up the top it's linked to um, a, a dashboard that's called um, Excel Dashboard Widget Spreadsheet 7, um, which is the one that we've pasted it from. Um, okay, so let's set up the configurations page, which holds the data, um, and the calculations page, which holds the which carries out the calculations. Um, this is the configuration data we're going to use um, for the dial. So let me just control C, copy that. Um, and we're going to paste that here onto our configuration, configurations page. So control uh, uh, V to paste that here. Um, I'm going to change the title now. Maybe I'm going to change it to uh, um, daily pie sales. Daily pie sales. Um, and the units maybe um, pies sold per day, um, and here the value that, that that I'm using before was based on a random value. Um, but actually, maybe I'm going to say, okay, maybe yesterday we sold 432 pies. Um, and the scale of the dial that we want to, uh, to, to, to record this metric, I want it to go from zero to maybe a maximum of um, a thousand pies a day. 
Um, I'm just going to change these quickly so there's uh, so there's no decimal place. Okay, so um, let's uh, let's copy the calculations tab across as well, which will um, calculate basically the the, the needle um, values and will recalculate the scale for us. So if I go to the widget showcase calcs. Um, we're copying the top one, which is the linear dial widget. So let's just copy that code. Control C, um, and we're going to paste it onto the third tab of our new um, dashboard um, in here. Okay, um, so here's our dashboard. Um, now we need to start uh, linking this to, to new values. So the first thing we're going to change is the title. At the moment it says Daily Widget Demand. Um, so we need to click this. Click it twice to get the, um, to get the title on the top. Um, and we need to put a new value for this. I'm going to say equals. I'm going to go to now click on my configurations page. And this is the value we wanted to say in, in F2, daily pie, daily pie sales. Click that, press return, and now it says daily, site, uh, daily pie sales. But you'll notice there's a, there's a bug in, in Excel that every time you change the value of, of one of these text boxes, it, def it resets the, the, the font size, the font color, um, and if it's bold or italic um, or not, it resets those to the um, to the default values that are in the system. So now they've they've been reset to Arial 20. And if I just undo, um, you'll notice before um, that they were it was Arial 24 bold. So um, what I want to do is just um, change this back to. Arial 24 and bold, so it just keeps the formatting of the of the spreadsheet. Um, okay, let me repeat that for the um, for the for the for the scale um, for the title of the scale along the bottom. Um, it's linked to the old spreadsheet, so it still says um, um, times a million widgets per day. So let's just click that value, select it. Go to the um, go to the bar at the top. We're going to put equals. Select the my configurations page, and actually we want that now to say pi sold per day. So we click figure um, box cell uh, F4, press return. It now says pi sold per day. But you'll notice again it's gone back to the to the default um, font. So then we just want to change that to um, Arial 12. And bold um, as it was before. Now let's change the the, the, the value. Um, currently it says 32.6, um, and that's a font size 30 uh, with a background color white. Um, we want to link that to the value in our in our configuration page of 432 pies a day. Um, so you'll notice it's it's reset the 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 color and the size of the font. Um, so we need to go back, click that again from 20. This is size 30. Um, needs to be bold and needs to be white. So that's how it looks before. Um, there we go. So we have a problem. Well, not a problem. We have two more things to change. It's the scale. Um, this only goes up to 100. Whereas we sold 432 pies, so it needs to go up to a thousand. Um, we also need to change the needle because it's still. If we just click that quickly, it's still linked to the um, to the original um, uh, showcase um, spreadsheet. So let's first of all let's change the needle. Uh, let's first of all let's change the scale. To do that, we need to go to the My Calculations page. Now. Um, for for each of the um, each of the set of calculations, there's only three things we ever need to change, um, and it's basically we only need to change the things that are highlighted in yellow. Um, all of the blue things will be automatically calculated. So the minimum 
we need to change that to uh, just, again just press equals type equals go to the my configurations page we want that to start from zero um, the maximum equals again we want that to go up to a thousand and the actual value we want that to be 432 pies okay you'll see now the scale has it's recalculated the intervals um, for the scale equally from zero to a thousand um, it's also recalculated the X and Y coordinates for the needle um, so we go back to the dashboard we basically need to update the um, the items um, on our widget um, to represent um, the, the the new calculations so let's go around quickly the um, the, the the scale items um, before I talk about that I'm going to talk about stacking order um, because actually the um, the widget is made up of um, a number of different uh, elements and they're all stacked on top of each other in a certain order so if you go in the menu ribbon if you go to find and select which is the last button on the right and you click right on the bottom there's something called selection pane so just click there you'll see all of the elements on the right that make up the um, that make up the uh, the, the widget um, so you'll see okay there's the title I just click on the title you got the title highlighted on the left um, there's the needle where's the needle linear dial needle and, and the needle is highlighted on the left the units um, and there's the units on the left um, so what I want to do is I want to move because um, if I try and click on one of these scale um, values on the left hand side um, I actually end up clicking the needle because it's higher up in the stack order um, on the right items that are that are towards the top of the stack order are closer to you on the widget um, items on the bottom so you see the last one is the background on the right light linear dial background rectangle which actually sits at the back if I move that if I move that to the top is it gonna let me if I move that to the top let me just click on select objects on the right here if I move that up, see I'm moving it up. It's moving, it's moving forward in the stack order, and this this last element, which is the dial, has actually moved behind, so we can't see it. Let's move that back down. Um, okay, so I'm going to move I'm going to move the, the needle behind, so we can change the numbers on the dial. So let me go up to the top, select the select the needle. I'm going to move. I'm going to reorder that. See at the bottom the up and down arrows. So I'm going to reorder that. Um, and move it backwards it doesn't want to does it okay tell you what I'm gonna do I'm gonna hover over the edge of the needle here right click and um, why doesn't this one Let me try again. Right click and send center back. And now it's gone right, you'll see it's gone right to the bottom. Linear dial needle's gone right to the bottom. I can move it up. I'm clicking up and down to move it up and down. I think sometimes um, you need to turn off select objects um, when you're moving things um, around on the screen. Um, anyway, let's move that back down. Sorry about that. I didn't explain that very um, clearly but um, anyway let's press on right um, so now we're changing we're changing these values um, so I'm going to change the first value which is zero I'm just clicking on it directly on the widget um, you'll see it's highlighted on the on the right in the selection pane I could have just selected it here on the right on the selection pane um, this is, as you can see, this is linked. If I look in the address bar at the top, it's it's linked to the to the old spreadsheet. I want to link it now to um, the calculations page. So just type equals. So this is the minimum value is zero. The next value 
is 200. Um, it's 200, select that there, enter. The next value, again, I'm selecting the, the, the text box. I'm changing the address of the cell it's linked to. I type equals. I go to the My Calculations page. I pick the second scale value. Press Enter. Do the, exactly the same for the next scale value. I'm highlighting this text at the top. Pressing equals. Going to the My Calculations page. The next scale value. Um, again, just repeating. And finally, we have the last value, which is a thousand over here. Okay, so the scale now goes from zero to a thousand, um, but we don't have the we don't have the needle. I could go to the my configurations page, and I could say, well, actually, I want the value to go up to six hundred. I'll change the value on the configuration page to 600 and automatically the, the, the intervals on our dashboard have, have um, updated themselves. Um, okay, now the next thing we need to change is the needle. So actually, now I've changed the values on the scale, I can bring the needle back up. So I just select the needle on the right hand side in the selection pane. Um, and just reorder it, just bring, just bring it up, um, and I'm going to bring it to to above the scale. Um, yeah, one more. There we go. So currently, the needle isn't on the 432 mark. It seems to be at around 500 and 550 over here. But you'll notice when I click on it, it's. Um, it's linked to the old dashboard, so we need to update it to our new, new, new one. And to do that, you'll notice if you look at the values, um, um, it's basically a, a line graph. You'll see in the old spreadsheet, it's going from value G10 to G14 for the X values, and H10 to H14 for the Y values. Um, so basically, we need to change this. Um, so it's reflecting these new X and Y values on the My Calculations page, which actually go from G6 to G10 and H6 to H10. So let's do that right now. Um, I'm going to remove this link in square brackets at the top, um, which link to the old spreadsheet. So they're going there. I'm going to remove this reference with an exclamation mark um, here, Widget Showcase Calc, because that's still referring to the old tab in the old spreadsheet. Um, and our new name was, I'll look down the bottom, My Calculations Page. My Calculations Page. I'm actually just going to copy that and I'm going to use it for all of these references. And as I said before, instead of going from G10 to G14, ours goes from G6 to G10, H6 to H10. And this one starts one before, so that's from G5. And there's our dial. Um, it's um, it's now showing 432. If we go to the um, if we go to the configuration page now, any time we update the values, so maybe tomorrow we might sell uh, 156 pies. We can update the value in the configuration page, um, and the dashboard that we built, um, the graphics on the dashboard will reflect that. Um, thank you very much. Uh, this is Brian from Excel Dashboard Widgets, and uh, happy dashboarding.